The year was 1946, and the word homosexual had just appeared in an English translation of the Bible for the very first time in history. And yet, even with that addition, it seems as though there were no fiery sermons against gays preached until the late 1970s. That's interesting, isn't it? About 25 years of the Bible usage with the word homosexual, and no one really even paid any attention to it. So why the 1970s did it change? Why did the gay community become the focus of the conservative religious leaders and politicians in 1978? And who was Anita Bryant, and why did she become the focal point for the merger of conservative religion and politics? To understand all of that, you have to go back to the 1920s when evangelicals split into two groups, the fundamentalists and the modernists. These are really interesting stories that directly impact conversations that we're having today about gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people, both in the culture and in conservative faith communities. This webinar and podcast series entitled History of Cultural and Religious Discrimination of the LGBT People in America is available at sistersofthunder.org as well as in the iTunes podcast store. They're hosted by me, Kathy Baldock, Executive Director of Canyon Walker Connections, along with Yvette Cantu-Schneider, former policy analyst for Family Research Council and former ministry leader for Exodus International. Check out the links below to access these materials and gain better understanding of the issues dealing with sexual orientation and gender identity as they intersect with U.S. public policy, culture, and Christian faith. Thank you.